Legacy Model VP. Naku, lakad mo. Lakad mo. Lakad mo. Lakad mo. Sniper, sure. But uh, all in all, they need a physical core and they're gonna go Lina. Huh. So no, they're gonna play Viper 1 or they're gonna play, play Lina 1. It looks like they're gonna play Lina 1. It is top of the net, uh, CS charts, probably top of the network charts as well. And he's, he's having an absolute blast. I think, oh, he might even get first blood. Yes, uh, solo grip was DK. I think it's one, but that's the reason they picked Snapfire, right? So that they have this option and in the bottom lane, they will get a kill on Undying. That, that's a nice kill uh, and really, really bad spot. Maybe he underestimated how much damage Viper deals right now. Maybe he thought, okay, I'm gonna survive with Decays, but I don't think it's possible anymore. In the meantime, in the top lane, the deep dive by TZY, he's going for Lina and he will get that. Not without dying, not without sacrificing his own life, but it's a good trade for the side of LBZS. Now, Rantfu Dao, he's going on Helios, but both heroes are so tanky, they don't really mind. At least it does make me happy. Fonte? Uh, has rage if he wants to. Uh, I think he needs to commit it after a couple of yeah after a couple of poison tax stacks, and that's gonna be a quick kill. This lane is hard. They get this tower dangerously low. Uh, while this is happening, Kila is also getting kills in this bottom lane, and they might actually think of a, of defending. Stun coming out. Ooh, an immediate Laguna. And the damage is just enough. I I'm really surprised it wasn't that even score. Almost that even score. And an almost that even economy. Dolphin could be in a bit of a trouble. Stolen shrapnel going forward. Eren uses his telekinesis, but it looks like it's gonna be two people dying. Okay, it's gonna be more than two people dying because Kila will finally get the kill on Dolphin and Dolphin will return the favor post-mortem. Uh, run for Dao. I don't know why you're doing that. It, like, what, what what was the idea behind using Scarblast? Like, Feast is not technically a life steal ability because it always heals for full amount. Okay, never mind. Later on, uh, run for Dao will get, go down. Committed ultimate from Undying. He will go after Rubik and Lifeslayer will come here to finish the job. V, I don't think you want to be here. Maybe just quickly take Tombstone and get out. Arena committed, uh, but I don't know how you hit here. Okay, no, Dolphin actually gets several hits in outside of Arena and gets a double kill. I don't know why he can any kind of uh, damage reduction, be it magical or physical in attack on Lina. Lina just gets deleted immediately. Advantages to press snakes and the turnaround is coming, but will it be enough? They will get one kill, but Sniper gets to hit people inside the arena even, and Eren will fall, dominating for Dolphin. Stolen arena, and oh no, stolen arena. Stolen Tombstone working, but it's gonna get destroyed. TZY has a lot of zombies on him, but now Tombstone is done. He's siphoning like crazy, and he is just going forward. He's saying, Mars, you are not my peer. You just have to get away. In the end, it's gonna be a two for three exchange, but once again, they will lose Lina on the side of Poke Gaming. Actually, they are trying for something. V, I think you are really, really over. Arena, he's still a stat block that is kind of meh. Like, he's not Centaur, he's not Tidehunter. He doesn't have those abilities to allow him to play in the manner that he was trying to play right now. And th that, like, uh, that doesn't get punished twice already. Helios might take down the poison attacks. The Kila actually going for the Undying as well and will get the kill. They need to get rid of Tombstone fast. Uh, not fast enough. It, it's on font. Is it going to have Dolphin with Maelstrom, Dragonlance, and BKB? And they can just ignore Mars for the next couple of fights once they get BKB. Stolen Fisher. Stolen Fisher is such a good spell. I don't think Eren will give it up anytime soon. So TZY, look at him. He's just siphoning off several heroes and he's almost full HP. How what, 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 How do you deal with that? Okay, they're trying to go for spear. For some reason, it does not spear to the Fisher without any problems. Now, Kila might be in a bit of a trouble because an Infest Bomb is here, stuns are here and you can't get out. Fonte will get down. And they didn't even uh, give him ages. I mean, Kila will go down and Fonte will take the kill. They didn't give him Aegis, they just... They know that the enemy has Aegis, but they also see TZY in the top lane, I guess. So maybe that's the reason they want to go for a fight. Jump in, Mars. 
They see Arena into two. Nice one. They can get rid of supports almost immediately. V will kill one. Uh, and Lina will kill two. They will also get Tombstone. So two quick, really good kills for the side of Pope Gaming. I, I think... This guy made a made a scene. Uh, him severely out of position. Helios, what the hell was that? They just wasted his ultimate. They will kill him. And now Fonte, he's trying to find himself a target, but uh, it's gonna be. Oh, they have double grease actually on this team. Fonte will not even stun. Will have to press BKB. Satanic working on. Oh, is that. That is such a stupid fight, but now Arena comes out and they will concentrate on the heroes that they can actually kill. Uh, they are trying for Undying. Undying will be dead, but Lina, Lina is dead herself now. TCY presses his griefs, tries to get away. Uh, BKB, no, not BKB, the TP out by Snapfire will not be successful. It's in the end, it's good. But for now, though, Dolphin, he. They see him, right? Oh, no, 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 that's not it. Dolphin will get a chance to press his BKB, doesn't even need to do that. One second until it is off cooldown, he'll just turn around and kill Eren. In the meantime, they will get a, a kill on Shaker in the back lines. He is trying to get away from here, he will be able to do that. They find Sniper. Sniper is dead, once again out of position. I think he overcommitted to this fight a little bit. He was just, oh, I have to kill Killa. But the Viper is not targeting a kill quickly, and now they stun Lifestealer. TZY might be gone on. They decide against it. Double damage on V. Killing a dying. Killing supports first is probably best. And they are going for that. Echo Slam once again used not that well because uh, his blink dagger was just destroyed. And it's gonna be Arena into TZY. Stun connects, LSA, and into a lot of damage from this Lina. This is just beautiful Dota. Dolphin trying for some poke on Kila. He will disengage. Has his griefs in a couple of seconds. The aura is already working. In the meantime, Lina is already killing the backlines, killing this sniper. Killa is probably dead. I don't think he gets out of here unless there is a cookie. Cookie is not available, but Fonte has to go away. Eats a spear in his face as well as Cookie. I don't think Cookie connects, but it doesn't matter. Laguna is here, and Fonte has to fight back. They have to deal damage to him. Come on, don't do the same mistakes that you did before. Oh no, he's gonna kill everybody. No, okay, he's just gonna hide inside a catapult. I thought too overwhelming from the side of Po Gaming, and they will finally not take the tier, tier 3. Glyph comes out at 5 HP. It will go down. I don't think it, it, it gets any right to leave. Kila on the high ground. Oh, BKB jump in. The Hex, Life Stealer. Whose Hex is that? Oh, that's Mars Hex. That is such a good Hex. And the 100 seconds without Life Stealer, he doesn't have a buyback. Uh, he actually is uh, short on gold. It's not even uh, it's not even uh, a cooldown timer. He's just short on gold, and that's that's not a position. Hours. They still have Echo. Echo is a possibility. Echo into four was an option just a second ago. No longer. Echo into three is still an option. I don't know whether they get anything out of that, but at least it would look great, right? They are. Slow this mantle in the base. Echo into four. Echo into four. Echo into four. But it's not enough. It seems like it's not enough. An immediate turnaround. Double spear. And they will just cleanly disengage and then re-engage from the lower ground without committing too much. Just being disciplined. Actually, Kila, he's like, screw discipline. I'm going in. And he wants to take down this tower, but he will get punished. Has to be bailed out with a cookie. TZY going forward. It's a Laguna. Spear misses. And TZY gets a little, a little bit longer. And a really nice Fisher into four people. It's gonna save the life of TZY for a little bit longer, but in the end he will fall down. Undying tries to get outside of here, but Eren with Spirit Siphon just going in and they just kill a hero after hero after tombstone after hero and GG is called Po Gaming. I think they might be my favorite newcomers of this tournament. And they were a replacement team. There was a bit of a drama with Yangon Galacticus who had to be a this guy who he has a top of Oracle. Oh, Silencer could be interesting. Uh, but now they're gonna go Zeus. I mean, Silencer mid could be kind of... Uh, it's a bit wonky. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's definitely a wonky hero to play mid. But really happy about it. The, this lane hasn't been particularly great. Especially after the last one where he got first blood, perfect creep score. And in the meantime, in the top lane, I miss first blood. Dragon Slave is so, but it's gonna miss, and V is gonna be fine. He actually wants to take this rune, and they're going for an offensive. If they get this kill, I think it's gonna be worth it, and they do get it. 
Okay, that is interesting. He he just goes two to zero. This is just a value point to me. It, it almost always feels like a value point. Easy why tiny airlines not really helpful, but they are still gonna be able to deal quite a bit of damage to this SF. They are just clearing out out from the grasp and the missed coil will result in the death of SF, but not before TZY dies. And now they are going for can solo kill him or at least solo force uh, the false promise usage. He's gonna get punished for his over pressure zone. Um, the indie hero who can do that because Oracle, if he's not pressured, you don't. Helios will be zoned out a little bit with Leech Seed, but I don't think it's gonna be quite enough. I think this tower is still false, right? There is no way they stop that. The tower is down. Helios gets a toss back on Zeus. Zeus tries to get away. A nice jump by Eren with double. Proximity Mines. Proximity Mines destroy one hero. It's a one for one exchange, but Dolphin makes it two for one. Both supports on the side of Bug Gaming gone. V lost his tower, so LBZS there definitely. Uh, is, he toyed it with them for a really long time. He actually won quite a bit of time for his team uh, because this tower is just now going down. But still, Dolphin gets rooted, cannot use a stun out of range. Now gets closer, they will get a free kill on Dream Protector as well as a really quick and easy kill on the other hero. Nice usage of Infest. Font is over duration. I, I, I mean, team fight wise I, I guess it's a better ability, but I, I'm not sure that this is good. Oh, Shadowfin is just dead. Mars will not be able to save him, and now Kelia will have to make do with the Tiny kill. That's not even going to be a possibility. Tiny will survive with the help of False Promise. I don't think it's going to be for long, though. He will expire in the end. A nice stun. Dolphin getting chased. The small... The bomb connects, but the spear does not, and now TZY is here with the exorcism ready to turn around. They are trying to kill Dolphin, at least they will be successful. V, one more second until having his heavenly jump, will use it once, will not use it twice. Has a uh, Tumblr Stoy! Oh, he really wanted to use Tumblr Stoy to get inside. He survives in the extra generation on like a sliver of HP and gets to pump his ultimate. That's like a completely different fight given how Mars jumps in with his blink dagger and places the arena. That's like a completely different, and it's still a fight that they didn't quote unquote win, but they still did, did well. Now Mars being gone on, a nice jump in by Eren, what a player. I really don't think they will see uh, Techies ever again, uh, but Mars will die in the end regardless. It wasn't enough to make up for this. Zeus poking, Zeus getting silenced up. And while this is happening, they're just getting double kill on supports. That's gonna be three heroes dead on the side of Poke Gaming and we all ability. Helios will eat a fear, but the damage is just isn't there. They they block, uh, they, they disable him for a long time, but they don't really get anything out of it. Now jump in by Kila. Arena is an option. Spear into Oracle. Oracle is not the priority target. He's already used his abilities. Getting TZY though, that would be nice. They will get TZY in the end. But while all of this is happening, I feel like too many heroes are getting too much done. Dolphin actually TPs in. Why? He was farming top lane. I was about to say that he's pushing in and farming in the top lane. Instead, he TPs inside the fight. Rage wasted because of the overgrowth. And they will get four kills on the side of Poke Gaming. Dolphin was a massive mistake. Dota. This TP in, I, I can still understand. If he manages to press BKB in time, um, if Mars doesn't play out of his mind and just catches him right after TP, um, him and Lifestealer, they just clean house. Like, they, they get to do that, right? If Lina presses BKB. But because she didn't, Lifestealer panics, everyone panics. Uh, nice Arena, they find. Oracle, Oracle is deleted, Dolphin has to press his BKB, running forward, Overgrowth committed, uh, maybe too far forward, he doesn't have his life stealer next to him, TZY in the back lines, Lina is being chased, Dolphin is just that double kill for V, in the meantime SF is being gone on, but there is no exorcism, so that means damage is limited, now damage is here, Fonte with a double kill, it's concentrating on Killa, trying to get to Mars, no rage for a couple of seconds, but Tiny Airlines working and the slow is applied, Killa will get stunned, a triple kill for Fonte, and a 4 for to exchange going the way of LBZ and thought process. Uh, Oracle 
has Life Stealer inside him. Going forward, they are going with the fear, and the fear is working. Overgrowth immediately, but Manta starts to dispel it. BKB to be out, not possible. It's a bit uh, too naive, I guess. Um, Kila trying to disengage now. Doesn't have Blink Dagger. Tiny Airlines with Life Stealer, and that's probably going to be that Mars on top of it. I am not sure why Poke Gaming decided to go uh, for this kind of play. Ooh, nice dodge by Rafudao. Not sure why they went for this kind of play, simply because it, it was not forced. And maybe they saw... So this arena was a bit wasted. They will get themselves a bit of extra time. And now Kila is trying for a spear back, will not be successful. Will get punished for it almost immediately. Overgrowth coming up, Dolphin immediately dispels it with BKB, while TZY gets an ultimate from Oracle. So everyone will be able to safely disengage. Helios actually thinks about going in, and he will do exactly that. A bit of a misplay with a toss, and I think that gives Life Stealer, uh, well, it gives Life Stealer some extra job to do. But he's still gonna finish it. Yeah, not the best of arenas. And now they're just going back in. Found him. Getting rid of second tier 3 in the game. TCY on the front line. A spear back, but does not connect with the stun. So Oracle just jumps in and saves his teammate. Nice stun from uh, Techies, but an immediate save was in fast. And Fonte is just going. He's just shooing through everybody. They are pumping the ultimate. Does not manage to dodge it with rage. It was off cooldown. So Shadowfin will survive for a little bit longer with about 60 HP. But it doesn't matter. He can run, but buildings can't. And TCY. He, they, they just never left base. Basically, for 150 seconds, they were just fighting around here. Uh, because Exorcism is off cooldown, and they get to press it once again. Uh, Ren thinking about jumping in, jumps in, into three people, it's a ravage, but it's not enough. Fonte just dodges everything, Eren gets immediately deleted. Now TZY in a frontline position, tanks everything, because Oracle is behind him, and that means Disarmed Shadowfin doesn't get to kill him. He doesn't get to kill him regardless. I think it's GG, guys. I think it's gonna be 1-1. One, one. LBCS, they are still a team that will not lose a series, but Poke Gaming, first game, they look really good second game i have to say i think the draft was a bit i like i didn't particularly care for it